Well, it's November 14th, uh, day before gun season here in Michigan. So tomorrow morning, that's where I'm gonna be doing, sitting in the woods. It's really windy and cold. It's a nice brisk day out, it's sunny, but I gotta get the sprayer winterized up and uh, there's water in the rinse tank. The rinse tank, our dad never used it. He didn't know how. We'll use that next year, obviously. We only sprayed beans and corn with this this year. Well, this fall we sprayed wheat with it. That's why it hasn't been winterized yet. Um, Cause we got some of our wheat in early and we were able to uh, come in and spray it. But um, now I gotta flush the rinse tank out to clean the tank, then flush that to the booms and make sure all the tanks are empty of water. Wish I could just sit in here and drink coffee, but that's not how it's gonna work. It's sure a lot better working out of the wind. Now uh, this pump, we had an issue with it leaking on a brass valve that kinda, I think it feeds it, I'm pretty sure it feeds the pump. And uh, cause it was corroded out cause the person before us, they never, um, the person before us, they uh, must have never flushed it out really good or ran really corrosive shit through it. But um, now it's leaking on the bottom. So that pump's pretty much just wore out. So we're gonna have to get that replaced. Um, we're gonna be selling our pull behind sprayer. Uh, it's a fast and 80 foot boom. But uh, yeah, we're gonna be selling that and we'll just buy a new pump for this. She ain't going. It's a no-go from her. Time to plug her in. It's a bit cold out. Well, luckily it has a plug. Plugged in, let it sit for a few. And then uh, once it gets running, we'll let it warm up. I gotta take this fender off. Bent the frame of it. Well, I left it plugged in for a while and it started right up, but I'm gonna go out and flush it out and let it warm up right now. I mean, it's cold. And then uh, eventually I'd like to get it, after we get it all flushed out and winterized with antifreeze, I'd like to uh, power wash the whole machine and wax the hood. Got my boom unfolded and I can't remember. It's one of the, I think this one's the rinse tank. I'm not sure though. I don't know. I haven't ran this machine for a long time since we were frying beans and corn. I don't know, shit, this weekend. We'll open the lid up. See, it takes completely empty. It should be shooting out of like one of those holes on the bottom. But the rinse tank. The rinse tank cleans out the tank if you're switching to different chemicals or switching crops and you're going to be using different chemicals. The rinse tank sits down there, that black tank right there. That's the hand rinse tank, which comes out over there. But shit, I guess we can press this and see what it does. Nothing. Well, maybe we got to have the pump running. Maybe we ought to get the pump running. We give up gonna fold it up and we're probably just gonna take the hose off the bottom of the rinse thing because we can't get any response out of it I don't know their chart their flow chart down there is like reading Spanish but this time I don't got Google Translate to read it out for me so we'll just fold up and uh, just take the damn hose off is that fucker all the way up god damn it I love this sprayer, but I'm not used to running, neither of us are. First year running different equipment than deer. Got it. Well, we ended up draining the rinse tank on that. There's this big like three inch hose on the bottom of it. But it should, it sends it up to the tank to rinse it out. We, I don't know how to get it to work. Dad doesn't know how to get it to work. Uh, our local aqua dealer, local, is pretty far away, but it's closed. Closed at noon on it's Saturday, so we understand. So we just ended up pulling that hose off the clamp and draining it that way. We'll just rinse out the tank and we'll just flush it in freeze to the booms and everything. And Dad's taking the filters off everything right now and uh, getting the water out of those. Those will fill up with antifree antifreeze. And uh, yeah, we'll be set, but I'm gonna go finish up tillage. Fluids are all good on the 8300, so let's get out. Oh, 
almost done for the year, disking, and tillage. I don't know how long a chisel plow, our guy chisel plow, and got left, but just doing this front headland, then we're done. Control button on. Let them spray a bit more out. We'll call that good enough. So right now we're winterizing this sprayer. Looks like this three-way nozzle body is going to need to be replaced. I think Dad must have hit this on the ground when spraying wheat. Which ain't a big deal. But uh, the problem is sometimes he forgets he leaves the center up too high. And then the sensor, the auto boom sensor, it's like veeing down and it just hits the ground. But I think I might run it a little more. But I think all of them sprayed antifreeze, so we should be good. Well, what I'm doing right now is taking all the nozzles off. We got two on each, three nozzle body. We could put three, but these put down a different rate for acre. I think one of them's like 12, and I think this one's like 20, or vice versa. And then use a knife or something. Sometimes the strainer gets stuck. what a strainer looks like grab your one these are what the strainers look like as you can see they're a little dirty but it keeps stuff from going out the boom whatever we sprayed last really got them dirty well now that my hands are nice and red and frozen and probably sticky now finally got all those off so it's winterized all the nozzles off now i got a um narrow the track width this with this sprayer and a lot of machines you can narrow the wheels um so the axles come in closer so it stores easier you can put it on a trailer and this, this is how you do it right here i take it this is a front and back axle um uh, plus is obviously how you widen it they're at their max right now it's nice for st stability because we got a lot of hills and it's just nice to have so you can adjust the rows but we just leave it on wide because I think you can skip, I think it goes over four corn rows, which is what a John Deere 4045 does for four corn rows, I think. It's got the same stance. Well, I went to go pull the pins before I uh, started adjusting the axles in. And one of them was on almost falling out the front one and it was bent. So, uh, and I can't get it out. I, ca I could get the back one out easy. You could just slid right out. But so I'll have to adjust the length and the time I'll call dad. But anyway, guys, if you enjoyed today's video and if you enjoyed the content, please like the video and subscribe. And uh, we got plenty more content coming. And uh, we'll just keep the grind up. And uh, see you in the next one, guys. Peace.